Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Total War Warhammer. It's by Creative Assembly, Games Workshop, and of course Sega. It drops on May 24th, 2016. So you guys can grab it as a pre-order still, or you can grab it the first week that it releases. And as a reward for buying in early, purchasing the game early, pre-ordering, you guys will get the Chaos Warriors DLC for free. I know, fantastic. I believe it allows you to play the Chaos Faction, which is going to be fantastic. Right now there's four factions. I can go on and on and on about the game. We're going to hop in and play it. I'm going to give you guys a little tiny bit of backstory or history about my whatever, and then we're going to hop in and get in there. So, as I'm sure if you guys have been around the channel at any length of time, I'm very fascinated and, I don't know if I'd say infatuated, but I really like Warhammer. 40k, Warhammer Fantasy... The stuff intrigues me. I like it. I want to know more. And most of what I know or have learned has either been through people telling me stuff or what I've learned through games. On top of that, I am a massive Total War fan. I played every single one up until the very last one, Attila. And the reason I didn't play that one is YouTube started getting really, really busy and I just didn't have time to commit to such an epic game or a game of such an epic scale. That being said, I did skip out on that one. Then I found out, hey, you can cover this on your channel. I'm like, I can't? What? Why was this kept from me? And now, we're going to cover this on my channel. It's going to be fantastic. So, that being said, let's hop in and play. New campaign. All right, there are four factions available right now. The Empire of the Dwarves, the Greenskins, and the Vampire Counts. That being said, we're not going to read through every single thing there is to read through, guys and gals. If you want to pause on the screen and read, you can do so. I'm going to read a few things. We're going to take a look at the units and such, and that's going to be that. All that being said, I've kind of gone back and forth in my mind a hundred thousand times. I'm going to settle on the Greenskins. I think they seem the coolest out of the entire group that we have. So that is going to be what I do. So we'll take a look at the Empire first. The top units are Luminarch of Haish. It is a magical chariot. And yeah, that's a thing apparently. It apparently has really, really, really strong missile damage, which is cool. Additionally, we have the Demogriff Knights. And those are Shock Cavalry, and I imagine they are probably like on the back of Griffins or something along those lines. Additionally, we have a Steam Tank, which is a war machine, and it causes terror, has armor piercing, all those wonderful fun things. Seems pretty epic. Meanwhile, I'm also going to read this stuff over here on Playstyle. I'm not going to read the actual flavor text, guys and gals. I will on my own time. I will not bore you guys with it or excite you guys with it. You can read it on your own. Plentiful Confederation options, sure, allowing other empires, other empire factions to be merged with the emperors via diplomacy. Balanced unit roster with a wide range of options. Fractured empire, whereby the provinces of the empire are ruled by elector counts, over whom the emperor has a tenuous control at best. And there are numerous enemies. This is basically a normal challenge. And if we take a look over here at the faction mechanics can only capture territories belonging to Vampire Counts or any other human factions except for Norska. Uh, offices, lords may be assigned into offices, granting them a unique title and bonuses and technologies. Branches are linked to various buildings. All right, we're going to go take a look at the Dwarves. The Dwarves can only capture territories belonging to Greenskins or other Dwarf factions. Grudges. Enemy actions result in grudge missions, all of which must be settled in order to achieve campaign victory. Use Underway. Armies can choose to use the network of underground tunnels to avoid impassable terrain and enemy armies. Now, the Dwarves are easy, as they are durable units of strong leadership. They have an excellent range of strong artillery. They have a strong economy and trade options. Large technology tree with both military and civic branches. They are magic resistant. They have expensive unit recruitment cost and upkeep, so that's a downside. They don't have any cavalry, which is also a downside. Small military unit sizes and no magic. All right, we're going to skip the green skins because that's who I'm going to play. And we're going to go to the Vampire Counts. We'll start over here again. Strong battle magic options, including raising of new units from the dead. Units cause fear, impacting enemy leadership. Crumbling. Instead of routing, units will suffer casualties when losing in combat. That's not good. Uh, some battle casualties are automatically raised from the dead post-battle, even in defeat, which is pretty sexy. Unfortunately, they have no missile units. So if you guys struggle with missile units in any of the Total War games... And you just want cavalry, and you just want to be able to rush them with infantry. This is definitely your playstyle. You'll take heavy, heavy casualties, but you'll be able to resurrect some of them, so that'll work out. 
Um, and the mechanics over here can only capture territories belonging to other vampire count factions or human factions, except for Norska. Raised dead, new units can be raised from the dead in any province. Famous battle sites provide bonuses to the quantity and quality of options available. Corruption. Vampiric corruption can spread in enemy territory, leading to public order problems and even vampiric rebellions. All right, sweet. And then finally, the Grainskins. The Orcs, bruv. All right, we're going to go over here. Can only capture territories belonging to dwarves and other greenskin factions. Fightiness. Fightiness. Armies have a fightiness rating, which rises when fighting and raiding and falls when inactive and as a result of being defeated. Animosity. Low fightiness can lead to infighting between troops, resulting in attrition. Rawr! High uh, fightiness will spawn an allied wag army, which can be sent against the enemy. And they can also use the underway. Armies can choose to use the network of underground tunnels to avoid impassable terrain and enemy armies. That is a large spider. Uh, sorry, uh, large unit sizes, cheap unit upkeep, so horde, basically, right? Bonuses to income derived from raiding and sacking, so kind of like a Viking type thing. You just go from town to town, place to place, crush it, smush it, and claim it. Uh, well, don't claim it like keep it, but, you know, claim the goods and then move on. Uh, goblin units have brittle leadership. Uh, let's see, limited technology tree, cannot trade, and limited economic buildings. All right, and we're going to go take a look at the... Oh, we didn't take a look at the other units. All right, let's take a look at these real quick, and then we'll be on our way. Gyro Bomber. It's a flying war machine. It looks pretty epic. Not a tremendous amount of damage, though. It's okay. The Slayers. They're axe infantry. Anti-large. Fast for a dwarf. Death blow. Whirling axes. Eh. And then Iron Drakes. They are flamethrower infantry. They are weak against armor, but they wreck pretty much everything else. They are anti-infantry and... They seem to be pretty legit. I like them. All right, we're going to go over to the vampire accounts. We're going to go take a look. We have Varghoof. It's a monster. It's got armored piercing, very fast regeneration. It's got poor leadership, though. It is unfortunate. It seems to have pretty good weapon strength, actually. Uh, the Terrorgeist is a flying monster, armored, armor piercing, anti-large, and causes terror. It has even more. Yeah, 300 weapon damage there. So that's a weapon strength. That's pretty good. And then Hex Wraith. Armored piercing, ethereal, vanguard deployment causes terror. And it doesn't actually seem all that overwhelming overall, but that's okay. It's just kind of like a, an epic uh, cavalry, I guess. So still kind of a normal unit. All right, let us begin, folks. I am apologizing to you right now for all the delays and the starting of the game. We're seven minutes in and we haven't even actually started playing yet. I know, I know. It's okay. Don't worry, this will never, well, this probably won't happen again. Maybe it will. Probably will not. All right, we have two different options. We have the faction leader. We have Grimgore Ironhide, and we have As Hag the Slaughterer. I'm going to go with Grimgorg, but you guys can pause and read the differences there. Starting army is a little bit different. Four is Goblin Spider Riders. What? Spider Riders. Orc Biggins and Goblin Archers. Whereas uh, good old Grimgorg Ironhide, he's got himself some Black Orcs, some Orc Boar Boys. And a Doom Diver Catapults. So those are the ones that we are going to roll with, and let us begin. Start campaign. Now, the initial loading, when you go into the game, it's a little bit long. It's not horrible. It's not like 45 minutes or anything ridiculous like that. It's a little bit long now. When the enemy AI takes their turns, it's not very long at all. And that's really, really, really ridiculously cool. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, some of the Total War games have had really long turn times for the enemy units, and this one it's a couple seconds, maybe. I'm not sure the grand scheme or the scale of the game compared to some of the other Total War games. You would seem, or you would think that it would be quite a bit smaller considering there's so few factions, but we'll see. Anyway, guys and gals, the video is about to start playing, and as such, I am going to stop uh, babbling and uh, talking, and you guys can have a break from my grading. Horrible, raspy, evil voice. I don't know if it's evil, horrible, or raspy, but it's it's a voice. And there is that. So, without any further ado, I'm hoping this actually finishes loading. You guys don't notice the long load time here. <clears throat> I could have just cut this out, guys. I know. I know, but you know what? You guys have to suffer through it because I have to suffer through it. But basically, all future episodes will go a little bit smoother. There won't be a big intro to the game. That being said, I shut my fist now. I can smell it.
The old world teeters on a blade's edge. But a steadying hand may yet save it. Is that my role? Alas, nothing is grand. I am merely a humble advisor to Grungor Ironhide. The most brutal of Black Hawks. Even that bestial intellect recognized a use in me. his horde as we travel south, laying waste to the stunted and rival orc tribes alike. Deep in the Badlands, Borfang Rotgut, master of Black Crag, challenges his superiority. Gore stands to take the whole of the old world as his prize. But first, he must vanquish Rodgut and take Black Crag as his new capital. <laughs> I had to get in there on that too, guys. Come on, that was a, an orc or a green skin battle cry. You can't not get under that, you know? Get behind it. By the way, folks, I'm noticing. I'm noticing that my uh, microphone seems to be way louder than it normally is, so I do apologize. I've turned it down significantly and it still seems to be pretty loud. So I may be playing around with that over the next few episodes. We'll see. Right, we are surveying that. We're going to change the angle slightly there. I prefer an angle more like that. We get to see the attacks from the... Be sure to join the fight yourself. The warriors will be greatly inspired by your presence. Get moving over there, brov. All right, I have a plan already. Anyway, you get to see these guys firing, where they're targeting and what they're shooting at. These are the artillery or what have you units, and it is a sweet, a sweet, nice. We're going to get on up in here, and we're going to start doing some murder-death killing. We're going to actually speed things up a little bit, too. Remember, as you fight, that help and advice is available at your request, my lord. You may rely upon it. Get on in there, fight somebody. Anyhow, guys and gals, you move around the, the uh, battlefield with W, A, S, and D. You hold down the middle mouse button to change your angle. You hit Q and E to rotate. If you hold shift, you speed up the... You speed up the camera. He's very distracting. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. We're going to charge in with our guy from the sidelines here. And hopefully all black orcs will survive. Come on then, bruv. Get in there. Attack the sides and the rear. We're gonna flank him from the back side. Alright, here we are. We're going to surround them. We flanked him from the one side. We're attacking him from behind as well. Full flanking power. We're gonna go take a look at our boy in here. He's gonna start chopping fools up. These guys like, I got two weapons, you've got to join two-handed Oh, axe. I was going to say a sword, but it's an axe. We did it, we're heroes, we have routed them, the fools, they can't handle our strength. <laughs> the enemy begin to crumble. The enemy begin to crumble. Charge my governors, go in. I don't know why. This feels right. We're going to smush them from the side here. And then we're going to go and we're going to loop around the back. We're going to get flooper, looper, pooper. And we're going to go and attack from the back side. And they're going to have absolutely no conceivable possible chance. Alright, we now have new forces that we control. I'm going to claim my two normal guys. Add them to group one. I'm going to claim these three. Add them to group two. 
And our archer is going to be on group 3. We're going to add group 2 to come charging directly in here. With every ounce of everything they got, we're going to wait for our boys to come over here. Get them out of the way. We are getting, like, hell rained down upon us from up on high here. You see lots of arrows and various things flying out. But it's okay, guys and gals. It's okay. All right, brov, let's go. And we're going to attempt to get in here. I think we're going to probably go, like, way deep over here with them. Are they ever going to make it inside? Hurry up, boys. Hurry up, get inside those gates. This is going to be a giant cluster, isn't it? Yep. Keep your missile units back from the enemy, my lord. They will be most effective if allowed to shoot from a distance. Yeah, I've heard that about them, but I don't believe it. Alright, uh, we're going to charge in here with our boys. So basically, our leader somehow managed to get through all the chaos, and he's like, you know what, I'll take on two entire groups by myself. Right now, a thing you guys don't realize, he is actually invincible right now, you can't actually lose to them. They do not fall, or he does not fall in battle, he, you know, it's fine. So I would never do this in a real battle, just send him in by himself. Obviously that is a good way to lose your, well, your leader. Definitely not highly recommended. I would say it's a pretty bad thing. But, we have plenty of oomph right now. We're going to send our archers into the group. And we did just rout them, which is fantastic. And we're going to move on over here. And I think we're going to back up with... Sorry. We're going to back up with our other boys. Our, what, are, what are these all orc boys? Is that what they are? Uh, orc biggins. We'll get the orc biggins to back up because we're about to get charged down by a bunch of trolls. Press forward. Fall there, bara. What? I'm an orc. I can I can vote for the emperor too, right? No, that's that's against the rules. Okay, for the war chief. But the orcs don't really sound like that. I know. Stop, stop, stop pestering me, man. I'm trying to get into it. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right, we're coming in here. Our wyvern buddy is swooping in. He's helping us out. We just completely routed the trolls. The trolls were like, "Oh my gosh, it's time to poop ourselves." Besides, we could be for the emperor. Give him a false sense of security, like he's gonna be something special. And then we swoop in when he's least expecting it, and that's when we make our move. So you guys have to think like that next level, and you're just not thinking that way. Because you're like, oh, the emperor, all oh, the orcs want to join us. Oh, that's so cool. And then you eat him. See, that's it's a thing. It's a thing. All right. The heart of the city is within sight, my lord. Press forward. So eventually we have to go there. Oh, man, he's just, okay. Well, we need to go help him because he's just gone crazy. The enemy commander has joined the battle. Take him down. Take him down. Alright, all we have to do is defeat this guy and we are victorious in all things. The orc boar boys, no! Get away my wife and brethren! Alright, let's get in here and take a look at what's going on in this battle. Where is our uh, chieftain? He is right here somewhere. That must be him. He's a bit larger than the rest. Grimgor Ironhide. He's eager. He's very tired, though. But he's in there with great axe affinity, and he is just chopping stuff up. He's murdering people left, right, center, up, down, back, and forth. He just doesn't care. No cares are given at all. He's going to come back. He's like, I'm chasing down these guys. Oh, wait. There's an enemy general over here that we have to deal with? An enemy lord? We must defeat Gorfang Rotgut. And claim victory over the whole of the universe. Of the old world, I suppose. Alright, it looks like things are going well. Fairly well, at least. And he is kind of losing. Yeah, he's losing decisively. And as soon as he falls here, we are going to be victorious. And here comes the Wyvern in to take the kill. Woohoo! Alright, Black Crag is ours. Victory. 
and you have won the battle, but do not celebrate too much, for the gods will look ill upon he who came so near to defeat. Close to victory. It really wasn't. It's kind of a scripted battle anyway, guys and gals, but that's kind of how they they tutorialize or help you get into the game, help you get used to the game mechanics and everything else. I always appreciate games that do that. Now, I'm a veteran of the Total War series. I don't necessarily need all the hand-holding, but you know what? It's cool that they always cater to new people or even people that are coming back who haven't played for a while. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, let's continue the campaign, guys and gals. Uh, my wife is gone for the evening, the day uh, as well tomorrow, so I will be up late crafting myself in Total War Warhammer videos for all of you. So look for the first one to come out, I don't know, probably real late tonight, and then there's going to be several more a few hours later that are going to be coming out. I plan to play this pretty much all night long and just start banging out stuff and getting things up. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I am also planning, or I hope that I can do this, I would like very much to come back and play through each of the different factions. I don't know how much of a time commitment this is going to be. I know these are always pretty lengthy, but we'll see. If you guys are really into this and you're really interested and you want to see it, I will do that. I know Mutanot wants to play this, and I don't know if he's able to, but maybe I'll do a co-op with someone. We'll see. We'll see. There's lots of stuff that are on the table, guys and gals, or that is on the table, and we'll just have to see what actually pans out and what actually uh, happens. So, there you have it, folks. Alright, so th we basically fought through the tutorial mission. Everything else is going to be a little bit easier from here on out. So, well, less loading, I should say, from here on out. So, let us hope for that. And we shall see what we see. When we see what we see. I, I don't know, guys. It is a little lengthy. And I may even let you guys, when we get done with the campaign, when we're near the end of this, uh, I may let you guys actually vote on which one to play next, whether it's the Chaos, the Empire, the Dwarves, or the Vampires. You guys let me know. Black Crag is yours, my brutal lord. The pretender Gorfang and his pitiful tribe retreat to lick their wounds. The world lays open for conquest. All right. All right, we're going to click this. The Badlands are dominated by tribes of inferior greenskins. See for yourself. Oh, I shall. All right, so it wants us to move the camera around, basically get an idea or a feel for how the camera moves or the map moves around in the map view. That being said, let's move around. We'll go take a peek over here at Iron Rock. Maybe we will. There we go. My snitches tell me that Gorfang has retreated to another of his strongholds at Iron Rock. Even now, he will be gathering his strength against you, Savage Lord. Alright. You can also zoom in with the middle mouse button, by the way, or the uh, wheel, guys and gals. So, be aware of that. The Crooked Moon Tribe have agreed to stay out of your fight against the Red Fang. Time will tell if they are good to their word. And if not, they will feel the wrath of Grimgor. They will feel the wrath of Grimgor. Alright, let's go to this place. The Red Fang maintain a fortress at Valea's Sorrow, from which they may launch attacks against you. It must fall. All right, folks. Well, we're going to find out how far in we can get before we get to a stopping point, and then we will stop, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we have Old done Fang so. The cannot be allowed to sit behind his walls and raise another army. The time to move against his strongholds on the plains is now. Call it is now. To advance. All right, armies are used to attack are used to attack and defend settlements and fight enemy armies. An army is always led by a lord. An army can be selected by left clicking on it. We're going to left click on our bad boy here. All right, armies are used where he did all that advance toward the plain. Okay. I left click on him, right click over here. No doubt the red fang will be alerted to your advance. If it serves to spread panic amongst their forces, so much the better. So much the better. All right, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we have done so. We're going to hit the old check box there. Our forces remain depleted by battle, my lord. But yet more lesser greenskins are drawn to your might. As such, an army becomes a war. Recruit these new arrivals, and they will be ready to fight in the battles to come. And a wow! All right, we select the army if we want to do recruitment, and then down here we have the recruit units button. And we can recruit three units. We can recruit goblins, we can recruit orc boys. The goblins are clearly weaker, but they're expendable, whereas the orc boys, 
Still not great, but they're, well, not expendable. So I'm going to go for two for one. Something along those lines, and there it is. The boys will begin training immediately. All right, we're going to hit the checkbox there. I hesitate to bring such a mundane matter to your savage attention, my Lord Grimgor. But you should look at improving your infrastructure now you dominate Black Crag. Indeed. All right, settlements contain buildings that provide a variety of benefits. Settlements and buildings are managed from the province overview panel, which appears when a settlement is selected. Let's select it. All right, so down here we want to upgrade. We want to upgrade the Musta Fields to something else. Okay, we're going to hit OK on this. And Upgrading we're... your training facilities will enable you to build better forces faster. I humbly suggest this should be your next action. Okay, so upgrade the Musta Fields into the Brawling Grounds, and that is hover over this and click on this one. Excellent. Construction will begin immediately. All right, so some other things you guys should be aware of. Up here, you'll see we have a treasury of 1,800, and we are gaining 1,731 per turn. I like the larger money count. I like that a lot, actually. I was always depressing when you only had like one or two or three or like ten or, you know, super low money gains and losses, and things weren't super expensive. Now things are more expensive, but you also have more money. It just it feels better to me. I don't know why. I just like it more. All right, what do we have here? Patience may not be your strongest attribute, my Lord Grimgor, but there is nothing more you can do for now. Let us await Gorfang's next move. All right, time on the campaign map is advanced in turns. Use the end turn button to move the game on. Other factions will then get a turn to move their armies, recruit units, and perform other actions. We're going to end our turn here, and we'll probably break off the episode after whatever happens next. And I want to point out, well, the Red Fangs are supposed to have done something. The they Fangs didn't. Send out a force oh, there they go. To check your advance. It must be crushed. Take the fight to these curs before they can concentrate their forces. All right, we got a mission issued. We must defeat the Red Fang in battle before they are able to regain their strength. See that it is done. Defeat an army belonging to the faction in battle, Red Fangs, and we'll get a thousand to our treasury. I will accept this mission. I will accept this quest, and I will accept that we're probably going to end up with more speech here. Nope. Alright folks, this is where we'll break off the episode. In the next episode, we will go with our army, we will fight his army, and we will slaughter him for the horde, or whatever it is that we would say. Anyway folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. Come back for more. There's going to be plenty of Total War Warhammer right here at The Free Show on the channel. Well, I'm having a blast, guys and gals. I hope you are as well, and I will see you next time with the next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.